Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the video. Today, we're gonna be rocking the Kagama and my RC8X. If you watched the last video of the Kagama, it wasn't all that great. I went out and I was running it at school where I often run my cars and it was just bad conditions. Very snowy, very slippery. And yeah, it was a bit of a bummer. Today though, we are hopefully gonna get somewhat of a run in. We're up here at my work. The snow is like a light dusting, so it's not really gonna, I mean, obviously it'll affect traction a little bit, but nothing crazy. But the big thing is we are running the Method RC belted wheels and tires, as well as guys, I did change up the hexes. Now, at the end of the video, I might cover all that. We got rid of the big extenders. We're running something else now. If not, I'll do kind of like a follow-up to this video, kind of going over what I changed. But obviously guys, one of the big things here is we are now using the RC8X. Super happy about this radio. I haven't even done an unboxing on this thing yet, which I will get to, or more of, I guess now it won't be really an unboxing video. It'll be more of a, this is what I've got and this is what it comes with video. But either way, guys, we're gonna get this thing down on the ground and we're gonna have some fun. All right, we're not running, we're not wearing any gloves. I brought some with me, but I always feel like I have a hard time kind of getting a good feel when we've got the gloves on. Kind of adjusting my steering a little bit. So as you can see, yeah, it's still a little bit slippery, but at least we'll be able to put some of the power down today, hopefully. And we'll do a couple of small jumps, nothing crazy. As you can see, one thing about today is if we try to stop quickly, that's not going to happen. Oh my god! Okay, guys, I probably started the break somewhere in around here and I was kind of worried there. I didn't know how that was going to go. Definitely not going to be fun ripping this thing up and down this spot. But I was able to actually get a full throttle there. Which is, I think, probably the first time that's ever happened. <laughs> yeah. When you get it up here in the grass, it's a different experience. <laughs> All right, let's try a couple of small jumps. Nothing crazy. It's one thing I like about coming up here is that I often drive my trucks with a little bit more respect. I don't do any crazy sins or anything like that. Okay, that would have been a really easy backflip. Jeez. It's so fast, guys. And again, that 500,000 center diff with the 1780. Wow. Nice. 
those, those landings, man, coming down on the rear that now, ever since I snapped all that stuff a couple of weeks ago, man, oh man, my, uh, I'm just like, oh man, I'm gonna break something is how I feel. funny because I'm coming up to that ramp with no throttle and I'm barely even giving it throttle to get the backflip in and I'm still having a hard time correcting just because it's so snappy like I'm just little blips like that is all it takes One thing I will say though, guys, and I say this every time I run these tires, these things are awesome. Method RC belted wheels and tires, even though they're belted, they give you a lot of nice control. They seem to just work better in the air than some of the other belted tires. <laughs> that was nothing. I took my finger off the trigger as soon as we left the ramp and uh, that was it. <laughs> yeah so I think I mentioned it in the first running video I ever did of, of this truck was how I usually like those stock tires like the Kronos tires and I don't know if they change like the foams or if it's just this power or the temperature I don't know but I have not liked them in this truck at all or on this truck at all and these tires are a massive improvement except for the fact that today yeah they're spinning quite a bit oh no okay i gotta stop doing that The more I drive this truck with this motor, the more I get comfortable with it. But I did buy something and you guys haven't seen it yet, or maybe you have, I don't know. I never know how I'm gonna release videos, so maybe you have seen it, but I did buy something that would benefit from this big motor. And I'll, uh, I'm gonna thank Aaron at Great Lakes RC for that purchase. I feel like now he should owe me some money. Just kidding, Aaron. But it was just, you know what, watching his unboxing, it was just nice and simple. Just a lot of nice images of the truck. Well, there, I've kind of given a big, big hint on what it is. And again, I may have already released that video, guys, so who knows. But uh, that thing would definitely benefit from a big motor. So who knows if this motor will stay in this thing. But running these tires on the truck huge improvement and again guys like it's super slippery out here right now and the improvement on just handling is crazy like night and day difference <laughs> just checking my gopro but man my hands are freezing <laughs> may have to take a break before we get out the mojave i've been dying to drive that thing on 5s with a little bit of traction Today is not going to be much better, but at least I'll be able to get up in here and rip it around. This thing is like a back fling, back fling, back flip king, guys. I say that just because it's so powerful and with that 500 thou center diff, it just responds immediately in the air. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think if I was to just hammer the trigger, this thing would just flip for days. But I'm not that comfortable with it yet to start doing that. Well, keep it simple, keep it small. That's what she said. Or, 
things my wife says. But overall though guys, very nice truck to drive. I I wish I could kind of go crazy with it and all that fun stuff, but with the cold, it's just a bad idea. But it is awesome to drive. Oh, I didn't want to come down on the pavement there. Just because if I land wrong at all, Oh, and then the plastics make contact. Yeah, we're breaking and shattering things. It is taking everything to just not send this thing. But you can see it is slippery. Oh geez, oh, come on. It's about zero degrees today. Not as much wind as it has been lately. I did there. Yeah, you guys can see how fast that thing is there. It just, the minute you hit the throttle, like a little bit more than a blip, it just starts going. <laughs> okay, I had to do that. Wasn't great, but I had to do it. And again, guys, that is effortless. I don't think you understand. It's little blip of the throttle. Like, I don't know, hopefully you guys can hear it. It's just me kind of lightly tapping it a few times. Oh, I feel like this morning could start to go bad. Like that. But the wheelie bar still looks good. I think that's what we landed on. Well, and that was me almost slipping. Right here, the ice. guys the method rc belted tires are a massive improvement on this truck like i want to say night and day like to the point that i was actually going to say that this truck feels a lot sloppier than the chronos xtr and my shogun but now that i've got these on here that's and i was actually going to say like at one point i thought maybe it was just the cold and all that stuff but this truck drives so much better with these on here, like night and day. <laughs> I should also mention guys, I just thought of this. I am running that 6S 4000 pack. I'm getting pretty decent runtime with it. Oh, that was awesome. Before this battery goes though, I just want to head over there. There's a little, it might be hard pack now, but the little dirt section 
Just want to see what it's like on that. I just don't know if it's slippery or not. Pretty slippery over here. Oh, LVC guys. Oh, that's pretty good run. I think it's hilarious that this thing, even on LVC, when it kicks in, still wheelies. <laughs> that with the reduction of power, at least I think it is, maybe I'm spinning. No, no, that's definitely LVC. Yeah, but even after it drops into LVC, it still has crazy amounts of power. Oh yeah, we're done. All right, guys. See you home back on the bench. All right, guys, we've got the truck home. It's back on the bench. It's all cleaned up. And I just want to quickly go over a few things. One, yes, the truck is still crazy powerful. I'm still running that 1780 KV motor, that 4282, I think it is. Uh, that motor is an absolute beast. My plans were to pull it out of this truck and drop it into the, to the, I was about to say fire team, uh, the Big Rock 6S, but I actually been enjoying that truck on the stock power. It seems to be pretty good, even with the size and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not sure. This truck may keep this motor after today and getting used to the backflips and the double backflips and all that kind of fun stuff. I don't know. This truck may stick that way. It may stay with that motor. The Method RC belted terraforms were awesome as usual. These tires, you know, they're kind of a funny tire. They don't necessarily look super aggressive or anything like that, but the treads do work really well. And I've mentioned this before in videos. If you've got the wheels straight, you got the tire straight and you hammer it, you go. If you turn a little bit and you want to get a little bit of loosey goosey, the tires will let you do that. I actually was also just out a few days ago with the Mojave 4S. So Mojave 4S running the 6S belted terraform. So they are a little bit taller, but you guys remember I had to trim out my body and stuff like that for a different set of tires. Awesome run and actually surprisingly not bad in the snow. I was kind of shocked about that. But again, guys, overall, I do really, really like these tires. They've performed really well. I also like the fact that they're squishy. So when you're jumping and stuff like that and you're coming down, it's not like a hard, low profile belted tire or anything like that. So yes, they work really, really well. The RC8X, the Radio Link Radio, again, guys, has been flawless. Zero issues. Great to hold in the hand. Battery lasts. Not bad. I mean, it's a LiPo. It's rechargeable. I think I usually get somewhere maybe around 10 to 15 runs out of it before I have to recharge it. But again, guys, great radio. A lot of stuff I still need to get into. And besides from that, I the only thing I haven't mentioned yet was the wheel hexes. So I was running the M2C 10 millimeter hex extenders on the truck. I removed those and I'm now running the Mojave hexes. The reason I went to those was these Method RC wheels and tires that I have on the truck now are running an aluminum hex. So they're like a wider hex to push the tires out a little bit and they are metal. And I do find that when you kind of go metal on metal, like the metal wheel nut on the metal hex, I have had issues with it backing off and stuff like that. So on this truck, I've got the two wheel nuts. That's why I've got the other one sitting right there. And obviously, you guys, you saw today, it worked really, really well. So guys, um, for the Kagama, yes, I still have not gotten it out and really put it through its paces. I won't be doing that now till spring just because of the snow and traction issues and all that kind of fun stuff. But I have been enjoying it. And I've been sitting here talking to a few guys online, really contemplating the new Creighton because I know that's going to be an amazing truck. That's not even the issue. It's it's an Arma EXP. It's a Creighton. It's going to be amazing. But here in Canada, it's going to cost me a thousand bucks. And 
I guess I'm just trying to decide if I can get almost what I would get out of that crate and out of the Kagama, why bother buying another muggy? Because I've got a lot of them on the shelves and I'm sort of kind of getting tired of collecting them. So yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. The Creighton is awesome though. Those new aluminum diff cases, everything they've done on that truck. They finally redid the wing mount, which always used to break. So I don't know. You guys, you know what? Here's, how about we do this? Post in the comments if you think you're going to see one of those on the channel in the next few months or next month or next two weeks. Either way, guys, as always, if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and have a great day.